In previous videos, we've learned how to use price multiples like price to earnings ratio or price to book ratios for company valuation. This time, I want to show you another price multiple that you can use when comparing companies that sell similar products and services. This is called the price to sales ratio. I will also do an overview of the price to sell ratios for Amazon and Alibaba stocks. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Individual Investor. My name is Victor. If this is the first time you're watching any of my videos, please do check out my channel where I have many other videos on financial ratios and general investing knowledge tailored to retail investors like you and me. Jumping right in. The price to sales ratio formula is the following. You take the share price and divide it by the sales per share. Another way to look at it is by taking the total market capitalization of the company and dividing it by the total sales. Now, when looking at the total sales or, or revenue, you want to use the last 12 months or the trailing 12 months in your calculation. One caveat with price to sales ratio is that the sales or revenue numbers can look very good. However, the company from an earnings perspective could be very poor or sometimes the earnings could be even negative. That's why it is very important that you use price to sales ratios in combination with other price multiples, especially the PE ratio. As an example, in this case, I want us to take a look at Alibaba's and Amazon's price to sales ratios. These are both massive companies that operate in the same sector and industry and offer very similar product and services like e-commerce for both business to business and business to consumer, digital media, entertainment, cloud computing, and many others. Okay guys, first I want to show you how to do this by hand. So here I have both Amazon and Alibaba in my Google Sheet. And I have already in advance uh, populated the stock price and outstanding number of shares. So let's look at Amazon first. If we go to financials and scroll down to the income statement, we'll be able to see the the revenue or sales. So here we want to use the figure on their TTM or trailing 12 months, which is $443.3 billion. So I'm going to put that here. And now the sales per share very easily. We just have to divide the sales by the shares outstanding. Okay, and then the price to sales ratio is simply calculated by the stock price or price per share and then divided by the sales per share. And there we have 3.66, okay? I also added here the PE ratio or a cell for the PE ratio because I want us to use PE ratio to then compare Amazon and Alibaba, but let's leave that blank for now and move to Alibaba very quickly here and I'm gonna go to the income statement now we have to do a currency conversion here because as you can see here in the footnote all the numbers here are in Chinese Yuan so we need to convert that to uh, two dollars so here we have for Alibaba a total sales or revenue for the trailing 12 months of 769.28 so actually, I'm gonna first do the currency conversion here using Google Finance, which is pretty handy. Okay, and then that we multiply that by the figure in Chinese Yuan, 769.28. Okay, perfect, so that equals to 118. Um, billion dollars and then the sales per share same as before we take the total sales and divide that by the shares outstanding for Alibaba and now the price to sales ratio equals to the share price divided by the sales per share and there we go pretty straightforward so as we can see, 
both Alibaba and Amazon have a very similar price to sales ratio of around 3.6. Now, if you ask, okay, what's a good price to sales ratio? There is really no good answer there. Just like any other price multiple, you want them to be as low as possible. In this case, with price to sales ratio, you want to use it only when comparing, like I said before, companies that operate in the same industry and that have a very similar business model. Now, what I did here, I included as well some historical figures for price to sales ratio. Let me expand here uh, for both companies so that we can compare the two a bit more closely. And also, let's add the PE ratio as well. So for that, we can use Google Finance. Okay. Perfect. This is pretty interesting because at the moment there is a lot of uncertainty around the Alibaba stock given the latest CPP regulations in China. As you can see, in the last three years, Alibaba was actually trading at a higher price multiple with respect to sales compared to Amazon. However, the most recent ratio is almost the same. Furthermore, in terms of earnings, the PE ratio for Alibaba is a lot more attractive at 19. And if we also look at the sector index, the PE ratio for Alibaba is also trading below the average. This is why you find a lot of articles online about Alibaba being undervalued and being a great opportunity because a lot of people think that you can buy an Amazon-like company at a fraction of the cost. As a disclaimer, I am not saying that you should buy Alibaba. There are a lot of externalities that you have to factor in when investing in Chinese companies. So please make sure you do your own research. That's all I've got. Thank you guys for joining. Please like the video if it was useful and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks again and see you next time.